All right, I'm back. Sorry about that weird little cut right there. I had some problems with the original audio file. Basically, my recording program, Adobe Premiere, didn't want to, like, put, put on the audio file, so I had to convert it into an MP3 file. And for some reason, it only did, like, 23 minutes of it. And uh, last, the other 30 or so minutes were were just gone. I, I don't have it anymore because I had to use my file to convert. I had to convert the audio with the original file and I don't have the original anymore. So I'm going to have to redo the stadium stuff. But I'm honestly kind of glad because um, to be honest with you, I wasn't very happy with what I, with my runs. The boss, battles, boss, boss battle runs were pretty freaking abysmal, so in a way, I'm kind of glad that we're redoing this, but either way. But anyways, this is target test as you can see. Um, basically, it works similar to how um, me Melee does it, where you just go around an area and break some targets. The difference with this game, though, is that there's only five. In uh, Melee, you had, like, as many... Every character had a di has, like, had their own uh, type of target test. And it just... It feels a little bit unfocused here, because it has... They have to make it so all the target tests have to work for every character. And I feel that some of these items are placed here, because they are... They aren't really certain whether or not a, a certain character may, like, will work on, on this kind of... Um, terrain, I guess. But, I, I don't know. I've, I've never been too big on these target tests. They're okay. They're okay designed-wise. Like, they they get the job done fine, but they're just nothing compared to the, uh, to, to the melee ones. Because in that, you had to use the character's movesets to your advantage, and it was just more fun to go through. With this, it just, again, it just feels really... I don't know how to how to des, uh, describe it exactly, but it doesn't feel as focused really, because like you have to, again you have to try and make this work for like thirty five characters or something, and ugh. okay, I'll, I think I've already done levels three and five. So, wait, hold on. If I'm remembering correctly, yeah, we done. Yeah, okay, we we just need to do level five. But yeah, I'm kind of a little bit sad that they didn't bring it back in four. Like the, I I consider the the target blast a, another mode in, entirely. Yeah, it, it's still it has targets and all that, but I I still consider the this and target blast two completely different things, and that was a fail. But I I do enjoy target blast, but. I honestly would prefer a melee target smash back. Um, we already have... During the time of this recording, the smash direct has already happened. And at this point, we aren't going to get a break the targets for Smash Wii U. Which kind of sucks. I'm kind of sad, but... At the, at the same time, it's not the end of the world. It's not something that I wanted to have, like completely I was like it's not like I was gonna go to Sakurai and just like destroy everything in the office or, or anything like that like I, I really don't care too much in the long run but it was just a cool little uh, bonus thing you could do in me in melee but yeah that's how I feel about about target smash because I, I did a run of all the ones in uh, melee as well so if you want to check that out can go right ahead Alright, but anyways, home run contest. I did um, um, the one on melee a while back, and I think I and I think I did this game as well a long a, t a long time ago, and fail. But on the on the uh, original runs, that was back when I had that stupid nasally voice, and I ah oh, come on, wait, ho hold on a sec. I'm gonna. No, you can't do it the, the Smash 4 way, because it's... Uh, it doesn't go far enough. Five, four, 
I don't even know why I'm choosing Ganondorf of all people. Okay. But yeah, uh, the melee isn't too different from the brawl version. I think the only two differences are the area, the space you're on is smaller, or like the platform or whatever, and there's no barrier. So if you accidentally bash the sandbag, like to the left or right before the timer goes down, then it's just, it's just gonna go flying. As opposed to this game where if you do that, there's gonna be a barrier that will save it, so. All right, so Multi-Man Brawl. It's basically the same as the one in uh, Melee. It has all the exact same modes. You can change it like this, which I actually didn't know about until the original recording. And with the exception of 50 minute melee or 50 minute brawl in this case all of these modes are in smash 4 um instead of 50 minute you have rival smash instead which i greatly prefer because screw doing this for 15 minutes because that's just ugh, torture well not really i don't know if i'd say torture but it takes way too long for its own good and i'm kind of glad that we have rival smash instead it's a it's a more interesting mode and it's just it doesn't take forever, you know? Alright, just get out of it. I'm not that good. I haven't... Uh, I'm more used to Smash Force physics. So, yeah. Just get out. I know there's a way to, like... You can, like, do a dash attack. Yeah, I did it just there. I don't know how I did that, but... I've never been good at uh, dash attack, cancel, doing dash, what's it called? Like, doing a dash attack and cancelling into an up, up smash. It's like, dacusing or something. Something like that, yeah. Alright, I'm going to be using some Falco. Okay, let's, hmm. Okay, I'm going to try using Falco. Because I tried doing that last time and I kept doing this. A uh, speed illusion by accident. I think that's something like that. It's something illusion. I think Fox is his Fox illusion, so it might just be Falco illusion. But I don't know. Alright. Yeah, that. That definitely comes out a lot faster than in 4. The laser is crazy fast compared to 4 as well. It's Pretty freaking ridiculous. Just die. I was trying to finish him off with lasers. Anyways, though, boss battles is basically you're going going up against all all ten bosses in the game. So Master and Crazy Hand and the eight guy eight bosses from subspace. And the the health the health is a lot. Sh um, Weaker, well not re weaker, it's a lot, like... They don't have as much health as the as the, as their actual bosses, because that'll be kind of OP, especially, especially with Taboo, that'll be really, really unfair. Also, sorry if I stumble across, uh, upon my words a little bit, I'm just kind of drowsy at the moment, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this guy. I can't believe it's already been a year since Smash 4's come out, like, th that, that is pretty freaking crazy to me, like, it, it's all, it's already been a year since I've done the sub faces in LP, like, dude, where's the time go? Feels like this year's just flew by, flew by or whatever. Alright, get some porky in here. He usually does the charge it, doesn't he? Alright, just keep doing back air. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, there we go. Got him. I don't even know if uh, Falco has a dash attack cancel. Tripping! <laughs> oh, 
I don't, it doesn't feel like he does. Unless I'm doing it completely, I, unless I'm doing it completely wrong, which I don't really know. I can't tell. Like, I don't know how to activate that properly, so. Alright, get you out of him, uh, Ridley. There we go. I was afraid he was going to shoot. Woo! Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah, you can't do that as well as in... A melee or formers. Uh, wow. Alright. Still, the. Well, at least they buffed the. Um, the forwarder. That, that's a lot better than. That's a lot better in four, but everything else here is just. Mm, yeah. Falco did get nerfed quite drastically. I will admit. I still enjoy playing as him. Like, he's one of my uh, favorite characters to use him for, but still. I didn't... I honestly thought he wouldn't, he wouldn't reach me there. Die. <laughs> and I still... I'm... I still want to say that Duwon is the hardest boss in the game, just because he deals with, he can deal so much damage. Like I don't know, he feels. I feel like he's more. He has more dangerous moves than Taboo does, even though Taboo has a lot of one-hit kills. But to me, they're just a lot more easy to avoid. But that's just me. Oh, come on. All right. Get out. Get up. Oh. Okay. Get rid of this. It doesn't feel like PT Piranha has a lot. If he, his health feels like it has the same, he has the same amount. Or maybe it's less. I can't tell. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played Cell Space. So... And I don't really plan on playing it again anytime soon. Ready? Like, there's a run me and my friends plan on doing, and I did do a... I did record a run on Seas Brain a while back, but that's not... We actually haven't gone to, gone to recording that yet. It's not going to be for a long time, but... Eh, it's down the road. Oh crap! He's gonna keep doing this, is he? I see how it is. Woo! 69%! Yeah! Okay. And I think I can. Wait, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I see only seven, so. Ready, go. Oh, it may have been eight. Maybe I'm. Ugh. Ah, okay. <laughs> I might have missed missed one. Now. Woo! 
Right on the head. Oh, okay, that that was not uh eight uh eight trophies in the back. I swear, like one of them is being blocked by another one. So, eh. Eh, that, that could have been bad. Nope. Yep. Woo! Alright. Almost done. And I hate it when he does this. That's when he trend uh was it? He teleports and then that he leaves that explosion effect. That's really irritating. There we go, there we go. <laughs> okay, on the original run, that took like like five t attempts because I kept on doing something stupid. So, yeah, it didn't last nearly as long as before. So actually, I'm kind of happy that I had to redo this on, in a way. But either way, it's probably the last, well, actually, no. It's not going to be the last you'll see of Brawl. Um, I, as, at some point or other, like, this is going to be sometime in 2016, maybe, we'll see, where me and a couple of friends are going to be playing through all of the, st all of the stages from Smash uh, 64, to, from Melee Brawl Smash 4, um, we're going to be playing through all the stages and ha just having a good time. Um, that's not going to happen for a while, though. I might, we might do Project M as well if I can get that to work, and... It should be fun. It's not going to be for a long time, and it's. I guess you could say it's basically how uh, SGB did it, where they went through all the Smash games, went through all the stages and stuff. So it's going to be a similar. It's going to be similar to that, basically. But yeah, it's not going to be for quite some time. Anyways, though, in terms of single player stuff. Unless I decide to do event ma event matches for whatever reason, which I highly, highly doubt, then you're not going to see me play this game alone anymore. That's pretty much the end of it. There's not going to be any more single player content for this game or Melee. But I think it's been a good ride. Like We've done quite a good amount of, a, of single player content for... Really, all the games, with the exception of 64, because I don't actually own that at the time of this recording. So, yeah, that's the end of it. And also, the uh, Smash 4 DLC is coming to a close soon as well, so, yeah. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time, for when the actual, the actual LP starts for Tuesdays and Thursdays. See you guys then. Peace.